Hello and welcome to March West Junction Term D. Today we're over at the workbench and we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, Andy from the uh, Wardy Model Railway Club has uh, asked me to have a look at this that we've been given by WW Scenics uh, uh, to see if we can uh, incorporate it in our Hornby project that we're doing at the club for the uh, for Margate. And uh, thanks to uh, WW Scenics, they uh, sent this through the post to see if this will uh, help us uh, improve the project by building trees. Now, uh, in the in the box, as I'll open, uh, you'll get some sea foam, and you get these uh, sort of plastic conifers as a, a base point and obviously this is a sea foam and also you get this bag of uh, it looks like brown leaves and bits and bobs that I suppose you can sprinkle over to simulate some of the, uh, the leaves all around the trees because this pack is the dead realistic tree kit but obviously we don't want dead trees we want uh, nice green flush trees as a summertime type of uh, project that we're doing so uh, I'm going to see what we need to do to uh, achieve this okay some of the items are required to do this project is uh, I've got some uh, cheap glue here some yoo glue just for sticking the sea foam onto the, uh, the the trunk of the tree. I've got some uh, pin vice drills just for drilling the holes to put the sea foam into the trunk. Got some cutters for trimming the actual trunk. Uh, I've got some uh, spray for afterwards so I can spray the trunk because they do come quite glossy. So I'm using a dark brown number twenty nine and. Uh, <clears throat> Later on, I'll be using this stuff as well, this uh, M3 remount, as a glue for uh, attaching the foliage. So uh, let's crack on and uh, start making trees. Okay, to start off with, uh, we've got to trim this uh, tree back so it's uh, down to an actual uh, trunk. So uh, to do this, I'm using these type of uh, cutters and we just hold them up against the trunk and snip them off. And it does a quite clean cut, as you can see. And we just make our way all the way up the tree. Removing these. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep these for a, another project later uh, to probably make bushes out of them by adding foliage and sea foam to them. So don't get uh, throwing these in the bin. And uh, a top tip is to always keep uh, any off cuts of anything. I keep all my sprues and everything and the amount of stuff that I've made uh, afterwards with sprues. Uh, is brilliant, like down pipes and things like that. So there we have it, we have our trunk. So the next thing to do, we're gonna start uh, attaching the sea foam. Okay, to attach this sea foam to the uh, trunk, what I'm going to do is use a pin voice. Now you want to come so far up because trees don't have branches all the way down to the bottom. And uh, start drilling a little hole. There you go. It's quite easy to drill. And if you look there, we've got a small, tiny little hole. And then what I need to do, you can cut these off, but they break off really easy. And that is to, uh, I'm going to put a bit of glue on that and then place that into the hole. 
Okay, as you can see, I've put it into the hole. And what I do as well, I drill all the way through. So you can get one in the other side as well, just to uh, save a bit of time building the actual uh, tree up. And uh, all you gotta do is progressively go up. I start off with shorter ones at the bottom, then they go a bit bigger, and then they go a bit smaller towards the top. And uh, I'll show you one that I'm part way through at the moment. Okay, I've progressed on a bit here, and as you can see, I'm majority of the way through, and uh, I don't think it's looking too bad actually. Uh, you just got to try and give it a bit of bulkiness and like I say low down obviously there's no uh, branches so I just need to continue putting some more this side and uh, build it and what I do I, I've put it on this polystyrene and I just turn it round uh, probably a third each time just to uh, keep adding the layers as it's building up and uh, the, the aim is to try and get uh, like a bush at the top as well so you don't see these uh, little scraggly bits at the top there. So I'll, I'll progress on and uh, show you how it looks when it's finished. Okay, so just a quick recap. This is how we started, and uh, we cut these uh, branches off. Then we started putting uh, holes in to uh, attach the sea foam. And uh, this is where we're at now with the project. And uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's come on quite a bit. Uh, I'm quite impressed with it as you can see I've tried to fill the tree all round and uh, what the next stage will be is to let this dry and then I'll give it a very very light spray of uh, the brown to uh, represent the trunks and then we'll start looking at uh, adding uh, the, the leaves the foliage Okay, uh, the tree's been sprayed brown now, using that Humbrol uh, dark brown, which is that one, number 29. And now it's dry. I've just sprayed it with the uh, M3 mountain spray. And now I'm just gonna cover it with uh, this uh, Woodland Scenics coarse turf. So I've laid paper down so I can reclaim it all back afterwards. I'll spray it away from the paper so uh, the glue doesn't get on the paper and then all this sticks to the paper so the next job is just to start sprinkling this stuff randomly all over just covering the tree and building it up Just don't forget to do the lower branches as well and uh, I do tip it upside down as well just to try and get a bit of better coverage okay 
now that's all on you can completely transform the tree as you say i think it looks quite good as it is but i do want to add some bits and bobs to uh to the leaves so uh, i'll let that dry and then we'll look what we're going to do next okay now the tree's dried i've uh give it another spray with the m3 mounting spray or spray mount and uh just a light spray and what i'm going to use now is some jarvis scatter number 17 which is the heath green and it's a little bit darker and all this is to do is just to add that little bit different texture for the the leaves on the uh, the actual branches so it just doesn't look fluffy so i'll just give that and it also tones the color down a little bit because it was a little bit bright you only need a small amount shake that off and uh, I think we're at the point now where I'm happy with the tree so I need a little bit at the top there so I'll bring that in a bit closer as you can see there's quite a bit of texture to it now I can understand people saying well why don't you just use the sea foam on its own well the beauty of this kit because you're using these uh, trunks it just makes it a lot stronger tree because the sea foam as everyone knows as you see over people's legs they start folding over if there's any moisture you get to and they start collapsing and it just gives it that little bit of strength and uh, i think overall it's quite a nice looking tree Okay, so this is the tree finished and I've placed it temporary on my layout. And as you can see, next to the other trees, which are from the tree shop, uh, I think it's a, a far more superior tree. It took me about two hours to do it overall. And also you've got the time for things to dry. But I think it's quite an impressive tree. The height of it's about 44 foot, it works out in scale. And uh, it looks quite impressive. So uh, I think with a bit of patience, uh, you get good results. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for stopping by. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. And uh, don't forget uh, to check out the Wally Model Railway Club, where you'll see these trees that I'm building. Eventually, on uh, it's called Margate Warren, the uh, layout. So uh, thanks for stopping by. And bye for now.